Toodaloo's house is finished, finally. <laughs> and here I'll just uh, sneak behind you for a second. This is the house. I've got a window over there. And uh, Pastor William made a really quick table. <laughs> Hello. And these are the carpenters, Pastor William, <laughs> and then we have Pastor Rolando, and Donnie. Oh, where's Pipping? There's, Arnold. there's Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> also known as Nicole. <laughs> and Pipping, he never stops working, so he's over there working. He's loading the truck. But anyway, this is some of the... Some of the stuff left over from the house that we tore down, they'll burn that up over time, use it for firewood. And here's his little house. We reclaimed uh, a lot of the tin from the, the roof from the, uh, the old building and then just added a couple new pieces. So it's not perfect, but it's permanent. So unlike NEPA, which has to be replaced in you know less than 10 years, this should last indefinitely. And... Uh, I'll just walk over this way. He was doing his <coughs> cooking over there, but now he'll do it underneath this little roof. So there's a little bit of a hangover, overhang, I should say, and he'll just cook right there. That's kind of normal Filipino style. We asked if he wanted it up off the ground, and he's used to doing it that way. So, um, because it's tin, it's open on the side at the top so that the heat can escape. Because as you can imagine, the heat, the sun just bearing down on it, it becomes like an oven. So this way, he can still be in there during the day, and it's nice. And uh, then if we go around this way, this is where the we found the bathroom. Um, now we've cleaned out a tree. Uh, we can't do the bathroom today. I don't know if we'll do that. <clears throat> soon or not but this tree we were starting to clean it uh, it had vines growing up it nobody to clean it so anyway it's a it's a um, I forget I always forget the name of that Pal palmetto <laughs> I can't remember but it produces those fruit right there and there's a few of them here but not many because this thing has been so starved uh, with all those vines climbing up it. So we started tearing it down and then then we came across a beehive with super dangerous bees. They don't attack just anywhere. They, believe it or not, attack your eyeballs and they swell up like you're a cyclops and extremely painful. So yeah, so we decided to stop that but maybe we cleaned out enough where there'll be a few more of that fruit. But um, yeah, so this is the foundation for the very old house. This this foundation, or this house, um, is what he probably raised his family in. But then when he got crippled and couldn't drive tricycle anymore, there was just no way to maintain it. It slowly fell down until until uh, it became what you saw in the uh, first video that I did, just that little half house. So anyway... Um, we're gonna keep this little bed that was inside the half house and it's in enough shade so that he can sit outside on it. He's been kind of used to sitting on it anyway, so um, at least he'll be able to sit in the shade when it's really hot and uh, his new little house will block the sun, so it'll be nice and cool back here. Thanks a lot, Tony, for uh, contributing all the money. He's uh, super happy and appreciative and uh, um, hopefully you'll be able to come down here someday and meet him.